There are two incidents that occurred while I was in the service during World War II. I was a submariner and was sent uh, first before going to the submarine base in New London, Connecticut. I was first sent to the Great Lakes Naval Training Station north of Chicago to uh, learn how to put together steam torpedoes and so on. But on, on that uh, source of duty, I had to stand watch at times. And standing watch in the military means that you walk a post of designated uh, distance from one end to the other and you uh, kind of pace yourself to the point of uh, going back the other way. Then you do a formal about face and then walk the same route back to the other end of your post, do another about face, walk back to the other. So it's a repetitious type of walking back and forth. Since it's a, you're, it's a security measure, they're doing that all around the perimeter of the base. And so when I came walking to the end of my post, uh, there was another man at the next post and he was coming straight toward me and doing the same thing I was. And so what we do is we walk right up to each other and both of us do an about face and start walking away from each other then to uh, continue walking our posts. So this fellow was doing that and of course I'd never seen him before. I didn't know who he was. He was in another unit and a stranger to me. But each time we'd come face to face and meet each other and I could see who he was and he could see me. And then we'd do an about face and walk away. Anyway, normally you're not supposed to talk or do anything except to walk your post because you are a security person. And if you do not uh, do your duty in that event, you can be shot during the war. You can be executed for not doing your duty because you're actually protecting your entire uh, camp or group of people. On, in a submarine, of course, I would not do that kind of thing. It was just because I was on land at the time. Anyway, in, at one point when he and I came together, he suddenly said, do you like pie? And I said, yes, and turned around and we did our about face and walked away from each other. And we came back and we faced each other again and same, uh, the, we didn't talk at that time. We just did our about face and left. About the third time that we came together, I, as we were walking toward each other, I could see he was carrying a pie, an entire pie, a whole pie. And so when he came up to me, he said, I've got a pie and we can eat it. And I said, uh, we can't leave our post. And he said, well, just for a minute, we'll duck into the drying room. On that particular base, they had a room that was extremely warm and where you washed your uh, Navy clothes, you would hang them up in that room to dry. And it was very uh, warm in there. It wasn't real hot, but it was very warm in there, so it dried close faster. Anyway, for reasons I can't now explain, I took the chance and went with him into this drying room and I was just going to gobble some pie down and then get back on my post. And I guess he was going to do the same thing. Anyway, we had no more than started eating our pie in this drying room than the officer of the day or the person that was checking on on people to make sure they were doing their duty suddenly appeared in the drying room and he of course challenged us immediately why aren't you on your posts and i was speechless i didn't know what to say i i, I just thought oh boy i'm gonna be shot i'm gonna be killed <laughs> for being off my post anyway the other fellow who I was a stranger to me, he just suddenly 
looked at the guy and calmly said, would you like some pie? And the guy just kind of silently stood there looking at both of us. I guess he was deciding what he, action he was going to take. Anyway, my friend suddenly says, well, you're crazy if you think I'm going to beg you. And I thought, boy, we are really getting into deep trouble, and I don't even know this guy. So I, I didn't know what was going to happen to us. I immediately jumped up and went back to my post and started walking my post again. But I expected some kind of a disciplinary action because, of course, they knew my name. They knew who was walking the post and what time. And so it, there was no way for me to keep myself a secret of it in any way because he could just check the records and find out who it was walking the post at that time. And I, the other guy, uh, was he sauntered out of the room kind of more slowly than I. I just hurried back to my post and started walking it. And he just sauntered back to his, I guess, because I left and started walking my post. And so the whole affair was over for me, except I expected some disciplinary action in the next, next few days. But to my great surprise, I never heard another word. I never had any disciplinary action occur. And I don't know whether the officer of the day was simply amused by the whole affair or whether he took pity on us or knew that we weren't in a war zone or anything to endanger our groups. So he may have just decided to be lenient. But anyway, I got into no trouble over it. But it was a funny incident. I'm sure it occurred to you as I was telling about the pie eating, where did the pie come from? The pie appeared on the other person's watch route because it included his walking past the building where the cooks and bakers were preparing the, for the meal for the following day. And although it was like two o'clock in the morning, they were baking pies for use at the, at the camp the next day. And in order to cool those pies, they were setting them up on the sill of the open windows so that they cook, as they cooked the pies and they were very hot, they would set them up on the windowsill to cool. And as he was walking past on his route, he saw the pies being set up in the window and on one of the meetings after he'd asked me if I liked pie, he just grabbed one off of the window. In other words, he stole a pie and then brought it as he marched to the intersection of our respective watch uh, routes. That's where we got the pie.